I'm going to show you why there's a lack of trust over this side. In 2020, the 17th of April, I was part of a team that met with the government at Jamaica House to discuss the enhanced security measures. A draft was placed on the table. I was told by the then Attorney General that it should be kept confidential. We had some issues with it. And I would have expected, Senator Campbell, that in the ordinary terms of negotiation, the government would have come back to us and said, no, we can't give up on this one. We're willing to give you something on this one to make it you know, more in keeping with the Constitution. But this one we require to assist us with fighting crime. January of this year, when it was raised, the opposition was blamed for the Enhanced Security Measures Act not being taken. Why? Because we had objected to some of the clauses. And I was not going to let that pass. Because it was simply not true. Nobody said to us, come let us sit down again. When the last state of emergency was declared, was declared on the very same day that the government was aware that the judgment in O'Shea Clark was going to be handed down. I personally thought that was very unfortunate. And the Prime Minister chose that morning to declare a state of emergency when it had been broadcast widely. The leader of opposition wrote to the Attorney General was um, no Derek McCoy made some recommendations and I will tell you quite frankly the government was very open we sat for hours at Jamaica House talking about it going back and forth and the morning from about I can't remember it was about eight o'clock the first many hours we were on conference calls trying to work it through the government came to the house and decided not to extend the state of emergency. And that was the last time that we heard anything from them. No, it is obvious to me how I interpret that is that this talk about cooperation is all that that is talk about cooperation. The government has a right to govern. It is the role of the government to govern. I am not for a moment saying that you must involve the opposition in your governance strategy. But I'm saying if you're going to call on the opposition to support you, you don't wait until you come into the parliament and then you speak disparagingly about everybody on this side. Come tell them about their audacity and their this and they're that as though they are not human beings who feel when people are killed. I recommend to you that you quickly try to get this Enhanced Security Act, which you'll be speaking about from 2019, in place. The Farms Act was passed in a flash. The Bail Act Joint Select Committee, the Joint Select, the Bail Act Joint Select Committee is sitting December 1st, December 6th, December 7th, December 8th. Then the, the whole of the next week, the Bail Act Joint Select Committee is sitting. Government demonstrates that when something is significant to them, they will make the time and they will call upon everybody to participate. I assure you, if it is within my capacity, I will cooperate. Because the one thing that I think we truly have in common is how we feel about this country, Jamaica. We have pledged our support and our willingness, if our assistance is needed, because it seems as though it is not, to assist in a discussion prior to coming here. So when we come here, we're not contentious and contending.